untouched rainforests, ancient cliffs, beautiful beaches, and maximum remoteness from the rest of the world. We are talking about Australia, a country with a unique ecosystem that is home to the most amazing representatives of the animal kingdom. And it's time to meet one of them. Hello, friends, you're on the top channel and today's hero not only has a memorable appearance but also a unique ability. Free traveler and a real longevity, an unpretentious, clumsy and very prickly animal echidna. The Australian echidna, an egg-laying mammal, resembles something between a hedgehog and an anteater, but it has nothing to do but has nothing to do with them. It's closest relative to the platypus, which is also found on the continent. In addition to the mainland, the echidna is also found on the island of Tasmania and New Guinea. The average length of the animal is 30 to 50 centimeters and weighs up to 5 kilograms. The echidna is extremely unpretentious about its environment and can be found in wet forests such arid deserts and even in snow-covered areas. However, due to its lack of sweat glands, it doesn't tolerate extreme heat and in cold weather it hibernates, which can last up to four months. The echidna has a record low body temperature is only 30 to 32 degrees, and during hibernation it drops as low as 5 degrees. Its elongated snout ends in a with a modified beak, which is the main tool of their prey, foraging. The echidna likes to eat foraging, and small insects are a staple of its diet is small insects. Ants and termites in particular. Vision is more than compensated for by the development hearing and sense of smell, and on its beak the echidna has 2,000 electroreceptors that pick up the slightest the slightest fluctuations in the electric field created by living creatures. Also, echidnas use their bizarre nose as a shovel, aided by huge, powerful claws, which, in search of their coveted prey, to tear through even the hard ground. When the target is found, the incredibly long and incredibly long and sticky tongue, capable of up to 100 movements per minute. This tool, together with its outstretched the outstretched beak, allows you to capture the most the most distant insects. In addition, the echidna is an incredibly strong animal, and it can lift an obstacle twice its weight of its own weight. The echidna has no teeth, so it, it grinds its food by pressing its tongue against the palate, and to better grind its prey, the animal swallows rocks. The animals are usually active during the day, but with the with the onset of heat they prefer to go in search of food at night. Echidnas live a solitary life and have their own territory. They have their own territory, but do not build, but they don't build permanent shelters. They prefer to wander and, despite their clumsy as they are, they're able to in search of prey, they're able to travel 10 to 15 kilometers every day. It's also an animal swim very well and can easily cross small bodies of water, and swallowing rocks also help to displace the center of gravity and better balance on the water. Surface. At this speed, the echidna is unlikely to to escape at the sight of a predator. Any desire to attack quickly is quickly drowned out when it comes into contact with its enormous prickles, reaching up to 6 centimeters long. The echidna can't completely curl up in a ball. So the tactic of rescue, of rescue tactics, is to use its powerful claws that quickly tear up the ground beneath them, the ground and clings to the walls of the trench with its paws and thorns. Getting the echidna out of its difficult to get an echidna out of its hiding place. It's more common for predators to go off in search of easier prey. In search of easier prey. Natural fires are far more dangerous than any predator. So, as a last resort, an echidna can burrow completely underground to to wait out a natural disaster. The claws are massive, and they're not just good for termites and digging trenches, the echidna also uses them to clean its its prickly garments. During mating season, a caravan of males an entire caravan of males is tethered to each other, that travel together for nearly a month. But only one is destined to win. The female lays a single egg from which a tiny cub that weighs about half a gram, until it's two months old. The echidna carries the baby in her in a pouch, nursing it with milk, and after that, she builds shelters for it and visits it once once a week, continuing to give milk until at six months of age, after which the juvenile goes on to adulthood. Despite their modest size, echidnas they are long-lived animals. In the wild, they live up to 16 years of age and the zoo record is as long as 45 years. The main natural enemies of the animals are dogs the Tasmanian devil foxes and varanas. However, serious defenses do not allow for significant damage to their numbers besides often unpleasant encounters can be avoided because of the camouflage paint of the spikes resembling the sparse vegetation they inhabit. Hunting echidnas is forbidden animals are protected by law, although without they are not of much of interest to hunters perhaps that's why so far their numbers are not threatened.